This conference will now be recorded. So, so the stages what you see here are called as primary stages and below here you can see alternate stage. When you click on plus icon here, you can add an alternate stage. So primary stage, alternate stage, alternate stage you can also call as secondary stages. Okay, now see here, usually when a case gets initiated at the primary stages, it will get initiated and it will proceed forward. In the primary stages, if it has reached case close, further it won't go to alternate stages, even though alternate stages are there. Okay, so always case will be processed within the primary stages. But anytime if you want case to move to alternate stage, we have to use an automation shape. What is the automation shape name? Change to a stage. And you mention the name of the alternate stage, then it will jump from primary stage to alternate stage. Understand? So the, now the processing will happen at the alternate stage. Now the question is why there are alternate stages? What type of processing we define usually in the alternate stages? So any guess? You can take any example. Suppose you are going to process the uh, check. There is a check that is being deposited. Check has to be processed through the regular process. There are alternate stages also defined. So in the check processing, what are the different situations you come across to define alternate stages? Yes, someone has told something. What was that? What was that? Exception situation. Exception situation. Is that only exception situation? not following a happy path basically not following happy path that is what secondary path of execution what are the possible secondary path of executions i have told you an example also you are going to process a check in a bank that should be processed what are the secondary path of processing for the check than the regular one anything that you can imagine would be good check or any other example you check can. Money go ahead amount is not available that much so the balance is less than the, on the check. debit amount that is been uh, check is been issued for. Okay, that is one alternate situation. Apart from that, see, it's not simply the error situation or exception situation. Let me tell you one example. For example, whenever the checks are being processed, regularly it will be processed through the flow by automation process. Everything. Okay. Let's say for example, the checks which are being given for an amount of let's say. Uh, let's say the corporate check processing, right? everything will get processed usually. When the balance is verified, everything is fine. Okay, it will be processed, but $1 million you have given the check for. So $1 million is huge amount. Any check which is being processed for $1 million or greater, it will jump from the regular stage to alternate stage. In the alternate stage, I will add a process. There will be one screen which will get routed to some spe special team. A special team will receive an assignment. They will go to my work and open it. They will see some phone number and details of the customer. Now they will make a phone call to the customer and asking for the information about whether the check is been issued by you and they will collect some signature details. Or this is a kind of verification process. Once again, additional verification is being done here. This is one business example, not everything the same. Like this, there can be any processing which is not in the regular processing way okay it's a secondary processing this is one example it is not only exceptional processing any secondary processing which is not in the regular path of processing you can define in the alternate stages that depends on the business okay and that will go through alternate stage in the alternate stage you may add some additional processing for it and the additional processing once it is done you may close it accordingly success or failure or something like that okay everyone clear so usually there is an approval that has to be accepted after appro approval is done it will go and get closed everything is done but after manager approves manager may send it for additional approvals based on some data manager selects additional approval and then submit if manager select additional approval it has to go to alternate stages for getting additional approvals Otherwise, it will go in the regular path and gets closed after manager approves. Understand? So like this, there may be any business situation which you can define in the alternate stages. Alternate stages are purely meant for doing some secondary 
processing than the regular one what is being done understand so that is about alternate stage whenever we are going to work on our current business requirement adding approval step in here it is going to add alternate stage automatically so that time you might be asking me what is alternate stage that why that's why i have told you 